Alrighty guys, today I'm going to show you how to get a rare earth magnet, like this, out of a hard drive. Now you can sell these magnets, but I actually find them very useful because they're really strong and they're really good for, for like, holding things down or whatever you want to use them for. So first of all, you're going to need a hard drive uh, with a spinning disc, not a uh, solid state hard drive because that won't work. These are the older type, but I think the newer type will work, the SATA type should work also. And then a lot of these have Torx bits, so you need to get Torx bits. Then you just unscrew the screws. And then you think you'll be able to get the lid off, but no. Because there's usually two screws hidden. Right here is one. And then another one's right here. Now, you just take the lid off. Now this is what's inside your computer and holds all your information and everything. So let's take a moment to reflect on what this looks like. All right, good. So the magnet is right underneath this part. So you will need to unscrew that also. Now once you have that unscrewed, this part should just pull off. You may need a screwdriver to get it off. And here is the magnet. So, to get the magnet off this piece of metal is a little bit tricky. That's the most tricky part, I would say. This is where you use the wrenches. You could also do this in a vise. I think this one might be done, need to be done in the vise. Yeah, let's try this one down here. Because it's flatter. So you put the wrench like this. Put this wrench like this. Then you just bend it. See how the magnet's sitting up up higher now? Because we bent it. So now you have the magnet on it, you can just push it like that, pull it right off. Now you can see the plating will sometimes come off of this, like this one down here. Sometimes it won't, but usually it does. And there you go. One strong magnet to hold stuff on your refrigerator or wherever. So there you go. That was how to take a rare earth magnet out of a computer hard drive disk. Um, you cannot use a solid state one, because those do not have magnets. And, yep, don't try this on your computer that works, because it won't work anymore. Obviously. Thanks for watching.